Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to dynamically update mQuery parameters based on the slicer or filter. So one of the viewers, she wants to know how to bind a parameter with the slicer so that user can select the uh, category from the slicer and get the data accordingly. In this way, end user can have a much more flexibility to get the data uh, the way they want. So without a delay, let's get started. I'm going to open up Power BI. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload Excel and Power BI videos regularly on this channel. So let's get started. Here we are in Power BI desktop. Now this setup only works with the direct query. So I'm going to get the data from the SQL server. And I'm going to give a state server name and select the direct query and click OK. I'm going to use a AdventureWorks DW 2022 data set and from there I am going to use this Deem Sales Territory table and Fact Internet Sales table and Transform Data. Now here we are in Power Query and we have all two queries here. I am going to use uh, this column Sales Territory Country to create our parameters and so I wanted to have these uh, country names in a separate query so I'm going to duplicate this query by right clicking and duplicate on the query and my new query name I will give it to sales territory names Okay, and I'm just going to select that column which I wanted to keep and then right click and remove other columns. And then I'm going to remove duplicate as well. Um, remove duplicates. And then I have this entry which is any that also I don't want. So I'm just going to replace it. With let's say France. France. And then I'm going to remove duplicates again. Okay. So now we have this uh, distinct name of the countries in this um, table. And now we are going to create a parameter. So for that from the home ribbon and this parameters group, I'm going to click on new parameter. And my parameter name is country. Country parameter. And I'm just going to copy and paste that in description as well. On the type, then I'm going to choose a text because that is my actual column data type as well. And I'm going to leave this suggested value as any value. And my current value is, let's say, France. And click OK. So now we have our parameter and our actual table where we wanted to use it. So I'm going to apply uh, that parameter to filter this uh, data. So for that, on that column, I'm going to click on this down arrow and then text filter is equal to. And I'm simply going to use a parameter here. So on this box, we have option to, to choose a parameter. And when you choose it, it shows the list of the parameters. Since I have only one parameter, it's already selected and I'm going to click on OK. 
and now our data is filtered by the parameter. So now our work in the Power Query is done. So let me remind that these two queries we already got it from the SQL Server uh, and this one I created by duplicating that query and rename it. It has only one column which has our distinct name of the countries and this parameter we created and filter our main query. Now I'm going to close and apply. Now here we, uh, we have all three queries and you can see this um, sales territory name which has only one column and these two query as it is from the SQL Server. Now let's um, create a visual here to just view our result. So I'm going to use this cluster bar chart. And let's get some data here. So I'm going to use a sales amount from the fact table. So sales amount. And I'm going to use my country name from the other table, which is deemed sales territory. And our country name from there. Now let's just quickly increase the font size on the y-axis so you can see it clearly. And I'm going to uh, turn off the values on x-axis so it can make little room and turn on the data labels. The data labels also need to be, um, I'm going to put it inside so we can see in that dark blue color and increase the font size. Okay, and um, okay, so that's done from format side. I'm going to remove this blank because we don't need that. So for that, uh, from the sales territory, select all and then remove blank. So we can have whatever our parameter um, selects. Uh, and now let's go back to here on this um, model view where we have our uh, two tables and one table which we created by duplicating this query and we have only our country's name in that. On the properties then when I select this table and when I go to the advanced that is still on the direct query mode but we don't need this table on the, di on the direct query. The reason is we are only so I'm going to put it on the import mode that table so my model is now composite because these two, the our main two tables or the queries, they are on direct mode. So the reason of that is I only want my all countries name in one separate query to get the slicer set up on that. And you can, I duplicate it uh, in the Power Query, but you can create a new table as you, and, and you enter the data as well. You can do that as well. So you don't really need to uh, leave it on the direct query because I experienced in past that if you leave that on direct query, it takes ages to refresh the data. Okay, so now we understood that this is these two main tables are on direct query and this one is on import mode. I'm going to select again that uh, the only product name table and in that we have our country name. So just select that column and scroll it down and you have this bind to parameter option in the advanced section and just select our parameter from there. So this country parameter we created and we can select that here. It shows potential security risk 
I'm going to continue with that. And now let's go back to our report view. And we have this visual with the France because our selection is the France. Now let's get slicer. So I'm going to get the slicer here. And in that I'm going to use that the single column table and we have all these options in our slicer. So let's change now country. So I'm changing to Germany. And right now the query is changing this to the power, power query parameter and it will get a data accordingly. And now you can see we have our Germany data with 2.9 million. Let's uh, select another country which is United States. And let's see the change, uh, the value changes or not with the country name. And it changed the United States and we have over 9.4 million sales. So guys, this is all about how you can bind the parameter with the slicer. If you like the content of the video, then please comment, like, share and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.